Hello, everyone. My first two Goldwater Scholars were first-generation college students and biochemistry majors Anne-Marie Toth and Lorena Hernandez. Annie worked to design a drug that would counteract cocaine, and as part of that effort, initiated a project on pKa calculations. She was first author on a paper published in the Journal of Chemical Physics and completed her PhD in biochemistry at UC Santa Barbara. Lorena was selected as a Goldwater Scholar as a sophomore. Her research on finding a molecule that would inhibit breast cancer was advanced by other students who followed. Lorena went on to earn her MD, PhD at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. My third Goldwater scholar was Matthew Liptak. Matt continued Annie's work on pKa calculations, first finishing her work and then making a subsequent breakthrough that allowed for the calculation of absolute pKa values, a much more difficult task. He published eight papers as an undergraduate. His two first author papers in the Journal of the American Chemical Society had now been cited almost 500 times each. Matt went to graduate school at the University of Wisconsin and is currently an associate professor of chemistry at the University of Vermont. My next two Goldwater scholars were Meg Mary Beth Day and Megan Dunn. They worked on projects to understand the structure of small water clusters in the atmosphere. Mary Beth published two papers and won a Gates Cambridge scholarship which paid for a PhD in earth sciences at the University of Cambridge. Mary Beth is currently a senior associate at Kearns and West in San Francisco. Megan published seven papers from her time in the lab. Her first author paper in the Journal of the American Chemical Society in 2004 accurately predicted the concentrations of water clusters in the atmosphere. Megan received a NASA fellowship supporting her graduate work at the University of Colorado. She is currently a scientist at the EPA in Seattle. I had the thrill of catching up with her in person at the American Association for Advancements of Science meeting in 2020, just before the pandemic shut down all travel. Daniel Griffiths was my sixth Goldwater Scholar. He won a research Fulbright grant to Germany, to Germany immediately after college. Dan obtained his PhD at Columbia, was a postdoc at UC Berkeley, and is now an assistant professor at Lafayette College. Marco Alodi and Kristen Alonji were both first-generation college students and 2007 Goldwater Scholars. Marco published three papers in the journal Physical Chemistry to his first author. Marco also did research in Germany on a Fulbright grant and received the National Defense Science and Engineering Graduate Fellowship that supported his graduate studies at Caltech. After a postdoc at the University of Chicago, he now works as a consultant at Bain & Company. Kristen published two papers and attended graduate school in food science at Cornell University. She is currently a vice president at Rich Products. Ariel Gale received her Goldwater Scholarship and a Beckman Scholar Award in 2019. Ariel has published six papers to his first author, including two on the ability of small aerosols to catalyze the formation of small peptides in the prebiotic atmosphere. She is currently at Emory University pursuing a PhD in computational chemistry. Three 2021 Goldwater Scholars are Lauren Jones, Luke Kerfman, and Brenna Outen. Brenna and Lauren are neuroscience majors who have thrived working on a project to understand why certain molecules bind tightly to the mu opioid receptor. Brenna is off to graduate school at Caltech, and Lauren is continuing her education at Harvard. Luke published two papers on atmospheric chemistry projects so far, and he is going to Georgia Tech next year to pursue a PhD in computational chemistry. My most recent 2022 Goldwater Scholar is Connor Breedy. Connor is a sophomore who has worked brilliantly on three different projects in the lab. A Beckman Scholar, he already has one publication in the Journal of Physical Chemistry A, with many more to follow. Last, I'd like to mention some of the collaborators I've worked with over the years. Ed Shear and Carl Kirshner were some of my first undergraduate researchers, and we've continued collaborations ever since. Burhani Tamelso is a brilliant scientist who helped keep my research program during my years as an administrator. I also want to thank my family and friends for their support, especially my parents, my siblings, my children, and my life partner. I've been blessed to be surrounded by wonderful people who are all trying to make a difference in the world. I want to close by thanking Kerr and the Barry Goldwater Scholarship and Excellence in Education Foundation for this honor, which I accept on behalf of faculty everywhere who work tirelessly 
to provide life-changing research opportunities for undergraduates.